Hey guys, James from Transitions Chiropractic here. Now, we've got a lot of our Newcastle runners that have just come off our Sydney Morning Herald Half Marathon or even the UTA. Now, for a lot of our guys out there that have been struggling with a lot of heel pain, whether or not it's plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, um, just genuinely tight calves. What I'm here for today is to tell you a couple of simple things that we can do using a bucket, a roller, and a ball. Now, don't try and use them all at the same time, but the thing is, with virtually any Achilles issue or any heel pain issue, one of the big things that happens is there's generally a loss of blood supply of the area. It's so far away from the heart, it's really poorly vascularized at the best of the times. And a lot of the old school advice is to go for the ice. Now, that's great when it's really, really inflamed and acute, but I would suggest what we need to do is actually fill up our bucket with nice hot tap water and start soaking our food in there for the good part of 10 to 15 minutes each day. Doing that is going to increase the blood flow to the area and the more blood flow you can get, the quicker it's going to heal. Okay, so that's step one. Step two, loosen up the calves and loosen up the ball of the feet. Okay, so that's where your foam roll is going to come into play because if you stretch and stretch and stretch, you can be stretching in an inflamed area, so you can be irritating it even more. Using a roller, on the other hand, you're going to loosen up the muscles around it and stop that inflammation and just prevent that pressure on that Achilles. The ball, same thing. You can use this under the ball of your foot, literally, and that will release that fascia. The looser that fascia is, the better chance you have of not having that pull either on the fasciitis underneath the foot or through the Achilles tendon itself. So, you've increased the blood flow to the area, you've loosened up the area around it. The third part to try and bulletproof your calf and your heel as best as possible is to strengthen it. Now, we often know how to stretch using a stair. What I'd suggest you need to do now is start using a, using a stair for negative stair drops. So, with one foot, hang your heel off the edge of the stair and drop it below neutral, nice and slowly. Use your other foot to then help bring it back up to neutral and then drop it below again. Dropping that heel below the stair, so a negative heel drop, is going to strengthen that calf and tension without the force of having to elevate it, which is just going to irritate a very tender muscle already. Okay, So start level on the, on the stair, drop it below, and then slowly come back up. There you go. Three real simple things you can try at home, whether it's plantar fasciitis, your Achilles tendonitis, or your heel bursitis, and using a bucket, a step, a ball, and a roller, it should all help. Have a great day.